Ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode of No Money Spent, we take this team from pretty terrible to definitely, definitely usable. Not only are we doing that, but we are acquiring the fastest player in the game. If my songs go pop, 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 what makes you think I'm not okay with that? I took my backpack off, 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 ready to change the game, move on the track. Y'all thinking I'ma fall off I'm Thomas the Itch Two seconds you get your rocks off That's why they said you're all soft So I paint over the scene like I'm Bob Ross I got weed songs If you smoke good I got weed songs If you ain't so hood That you can't kick it Get it Have a party Oh shit homie don't hurt Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the No Money Spent series. The first episode and even the second episode are just going absolutely crazy right now. We're making the push for 200,000 subscribers. So if you're new, <coughs> you enjoy Madden, No Money Spent, pack openings, gameplays, tips, whatever it may be, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and I would greatly appreciate it. First up on the agenda, this is our lineup currently. It's not great, right? We're 70 overall. We have some elites just sitting there, not really super usable. Still a lot of bronze on the offensive side of the football. Defense, I, defense is just substantially worse. Mostly silvers. We have Jack Youngblood just chilling here. I mean, it's not good. We, we gotta get some upgrades here real soon. As I said in my last video today, we will be choosing our campaign elite player. This is something that you get from solo challenges. Essentially, you can just acquire an elite player, a base elite. It's just a position you, you probably wouldn't normally upgrade that much. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly who we're gonna choose. Boom! Yeah, okay, well, it's, it's not that exciting. It's it's Lane Johnson. It's a right tackle, okay? Sue me, I, I want an elite right tackle. I want a decently good offensive line. We're going with Lane Johnson. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add Lane Johnson to this set. Oh my good lord. There's a lot of sets. I'm not gonna mess this up. We're gonna go into the sets mission tab. Here is Lane Johnson's set. He is a right tackle. As you guys can see, I have literally every piece needed. These are not, this is not difficult to do. It's really just gold players at this point. That's really all that it is. Obviously, you have to have one elite. I have an Andrew Whitworth. I'm just, I'm gonna throw him in there. Left tackle for a right tackle. Now we have a couple other gold players. Again, I have so many of these that I'm just, I'm honestly not using. Then we're gonna have to put in some low overall golds and I have just a lot of those, a lot of them. And just like that, we get ourselves an NAT elite Lane Johnson our new right tackle. Okay, offensive lines coming along pretty well. Decently good left tackle, good right tackle. Guards are kind of ass, but we got a center. Next on the agenda is the season champion fantasy pack. I can choose between two players here. The first player is Mr. Devin Hester. The next player is just very obviously the player that we're not gonna pick. We're not gonna pick Junior Seau. We're, we're going with Devin Hester. Come on, man. Route runner archetype, Devin Hester, no money spent legend. I mean, this is just very obvious here. And believe it or not, I think that we can upgrade Devin Hester once. I think we have one of his items in our item binder right now. Yeah, we do. We're gonna upgrade him right now. So Devin Hester on my team right now has 81 speed. I mean, he's not that fast, but I mean, he's an 84 overall. Why, why would I not use him? Wide receivers are now, you know, I mean, they're not horrendous. Devin Hester, Kenny Galladay, and some random bronzes. Next, we have our NAT Team Builders Fantasy Pack. And just so that you guys know, so you're not concerned with anybody that I'm picking, I will be doing this set multiple times. There's multiple players that I'm going to be choosing from this selection. But for this pack, I'm choosing a very, very specific player. And he happens to play for the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, I know. You guys, you might be, you might be surprised by who I'm choosing for this NAT Team Builders Fantasy Pack. We're going with the Atlanta Falcons, boys. Now, these pack animations are absolutely fire, man. Oh, that is just beautiful. That is just absolutely stunning. We're not gonna choose a fullback, okay? We're not We're not choosing a fullback. We are choosing Fabian Moreau. I have seen enough. I've seen so much gameplay on YouTube and Twitch from the word of mouth of a lot of very good players. Fabian Moreau is different. The Fab, man, he is different. We are choosing him. And at this point in the game, okay? It's not clickbait, I'm not lying. This is the fastest player out right now. The fastest player in the game, okay? We're not getting Jamar Chase because he's not in the game yet. He's not in the game yet. Very, very soon will we be getting Jamar Chase. 
This Fabian Moreau is 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 agility, 79 zone coverage. If I can get one of those little things that increases your zone coverage, we can get him up to 80 zone and 90 speed at six foot tall. This is, this is damn near our best corner. Not our best. You guys will see very soon. But he's a pretty good player. Fabio Moreau is now added to the team. Our actual best corner is... Boom! That is 87 overall JC Jackson. Now, yes, I could actually power him up, but I don't want to spend training at this point. It's expensive. I don't have that many coins. And this JC Jackson is... I mean, he's really damn good. 87 speed, 89 acceleration. Good zone coverage, 86 main coverage. Oh, I flipped that around. Good zone coverage at 82, main coverage at 86. It's another great corner. Another great corner for our team. That's two. That's two solid corners. Cornerbacks are not looking half bad. The fact that we have two Falcons cornerbacks scares me a little bit, but I'm just going to trust in the boys, okay? Corners, we're coming along. I was playing Superstar KO a little bit earlier, and we were finally able to acquire that 85 overall Aaron Rodgers. Here he is right here. Uh, you know, 85 overall Aaron Rodgers, Superstar KO version. We can look at the stats. 85 throw power. I mean, it's it's decent. I have an 88 overall uh, NAT quarterback. So Aaron Rodgers will not be used by me. Uh, well, I mean, he kind of will. I'm going to I'm gonna sell him. I'm going to quick sell him. 355 training. Boom. That's training in the bank. We're up to 691. Once we get to like 1,000 or so, I can add the first ability to my team. But Aaron Rodgers, he's, he's, he's training. That's what he is. Next up, we're going to look at this 85 overall Jack Youngblood. And actually, believe it or not, you can upgrade this Jack Youngblood very, very easily. I chose him as my team captain because I wanted a nasty defense. I wanted a very, very good defensive lineman. If we go over to upgrades... You guys can see it's a lot easier than last year. It's literally five training. It's going to cost 20 total training to upgrade him to an 89 overall. Absolute W. Major, major W. You guys can see his X Factor slot right here. I'm also going to go over his abilities. We don't really have the training for it at this point, but, I mean, he's got some cool stuff. Wait, hold on a sec here. I forgot. I actually forgot that it's discounted ability. So we could probably throw on a couple things here. Maybe like Speedster, Mr. Big Stop, BOGO. I mean, I mean, we're just gonna throw it all on. I'll be honest with you. We don't we, we don't have that many good defensive players. We're just gonna put every single ability on Jack Youngblood. He's gonna go crazy, but not right now. That's in the next couple episodes when we play a game. Trust me, very soon, very, very soon. Next up, we're gonna look at this man right here, Cam Chancellor. He's sitting at an 86 over 86. God, I... I goddamn wish. A 76 overall. We're going to be able to upgrade a couple things here. I think probably just once. No, twice. Okay, we're going to be able to have two upgrades. He's going to be, uh, what, a 77 overall for us? We'll check his stats, see what he's sitting at. Okay, not those stats. These stats over here. The attributes, I should say. 78 overall, 77 speed, um, decent hit power, 74. I mean, he's going to play. Right, he's going to play for us 100%. Our team is ass water. He's going to play. So there he is, 78 overall Cam Chancellor. Looking pretty good out there. We have our corners, Fabian Moreau, Kendall Sheffield, and JC Jackson. They're going to have to do at this point. Obviously, the rest of the defense will definitely be upgraded. That is what that 149,000 coins is for. Jack Youngblood, eventually we're going to get abilities on him. We're going to probably, I'm going to probably lab some stuff up with some people. Figure out what's the best defensive line ability I can get right now and throw it on Jack Youngblood at 100%. Defense is looking definitely manageable. Offense is, uh, you know, it's a little suspect. The offensive line is, is good, but we got to get some more weapons out there, man. Devin Hester, he's cool. Kenny Galladay, I mean, he, he's cool, but I got to get some more playmakers out there on offense. One or two guys just to help me move the football down the field. And then we'll see, man. We'll see what happens. But the team is definitely coming along. We went from a 70 to a 74 overall. And if you guys are wondering what strategy items I'm using, it's there's there's no real rhyme or reason whatsoever. It's literally just whatever free ones I got. Elite passer, pave the way, outside and in, and run stuff. It's just whatever free ones I got, I just, I just threw them on there. Also, my offensive and defensive playbooks, I am rocking the Bills offense in the Dolphins defense. The Bills actually has their own version of U-Trips that's a little different from the Patriots. It's got a couple plays that the Patriots cannot replicate, and I absolutely love this playbook. I've been using it a ton in my solo challenges and whatever I just play a regular regs game. 
Trust me, this Bills offense is pretty fun. You'll see it when we eventually play a game. And I'm giving you guys the mic guarantee that we will be playing a game in the next episode. Three episodes to kind of get my team ready. Obviously, the next episode, there will be more upgrades. The team is just, it, I, I have to get some of those bronzes out of there, right? Just, I, I gotta get the bronzes out of there. But in the next episode, we will be playing a game. Week one of our season. Our goal, first goal, gets the playoffs. That's the first goal. First goal is just get to the playoffs. We'll see what happens at that point. After that, I don't know. We're playing with house money. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so